Hello and welcome to the second podcast in our Lent series from St John the Divine Kennington on exploring prayer. I'm Father Seb, one of the assistant priests here and also chaplain to our parish secondary school, St Gabriel's College. You are very welcome, however and whenever you are joining us. Each week in Lent, we are releasing a short podcast on prayer. Last week, we explored what prayer is and how and why we might pray, and also the role of intercessory prayer. Today, we are going to explore praying with scripture using a form known as Lectio Divina, or divine reading. Lectio Divina is a way that we can pray with passages from the Bible when we are on our own, but we can also use it as a group. Praying with scripture this way is really compelling because it reminds us that the Bible is a living text and speaks to humans of all ages and in every age of humanity. I can remember as a child and as a young adult often opening my Bible and reading through passages of scripture, but not really knowing quite how to read them or how to pray with the words that I was reading. But with Lexio Divina, I found that the words seemed to come alive, to speak to me directly, and I hope and pray that this is something that you will find too. Lexio Divina is an ancient form of prayer that goes back to the 6th century, at a time that we know that St. Benedict and his early monastic communities were using this form of prayer regularly in their communities. But the form of prayer could well be even older than this. The essence of Lexio Divina can be found in the rule of life that St. Benedict wrote for those living in these monastic communities. At the opening of his rule of life, He instructs his followers how to read or listen to this rule, saying, Listen carefully, and listen with the ears of your heart, because the words of a vice come from someone who loves you. Welcome these words faithfully. So Lexu Divina is a form of prayer that is about listening deeply and welcoming God. It is about hearing the voice of the one who loves us, and speaks through scripture directly to us. And in this, we may listen attentively with the ears of our heart. There's a real sense of life and vibrancy to this form of prayer. And we can see this in more words of St. Benedict. He says, let us get up then at long last for the scriptures rouse us when they say, it is time for us to arise from sleep. Let us open our eyes to the light that comes from God and our ears to the voice from the heavens that calls us to this charge. If you hear God's voice, do not harden your hearts. And again, you that have ears to hear, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. And what does the Spirit say? Come and listen to me, and I will teach you reverence for God. So Lexo Divina is about an awakening, an opening, an opening of our eyes and our ears and our hearts to that light of God, to that voice of the heavens, so that we might be in awe of God and then be transformed by God. So Lexo Divina, its name Divine Reading, implies that reading is involved, which indeed it is. But of course, the form of reading that we use here is very different from much of the reading we might do in our lives, where ordinarily we might be reading a passage quickly to get some information, or to read a book from beginning or end to get to the end of a particular story. But Lexio Divina is about reading slowly with short passages that we have chosen in advance of a time of prayer, and seeing what words might leap off the page, either quietly or dramatically, and seeking how we might be transformed by God through these words in this time of prayer. So here are some guidelines that you can use for Lexi Divina. First of all, take a short passage of scripture, anything from a few verses to about 10 verses or so, or a small section or passage that is marked out in your Bible, or indeed one of the readings that has been given for the particular service this day or this week such as the Gospel reading. First of all, 
take a moment to prepare yourself for prayer by finding some quietness and stillness and a posture that helps you to pray. The first stage is to read the passage slowly two or three times, letting the words sink in. Notice what word or phrase speaks to you. It could be a word or phrase that seems to be offering something that is encouraging, something inviting, or something that is challenging. The second stage is to take this word or phrase and to repeat it silently to yourself several times and let the words sound through you and ponder what resonates or surfaces in this word or phrase. What feelings or thoughts or questions arise in you? Then the third stage is to pray with what has arisen so far by listening to God and then speaking to God. You can ask God directly what God is inviting you to hear or see. And then the fourth and final stage is to sit quietly with whatever might be surfacing throughout this time of prayer without trying to control or impose anything. Trust what has come up and embrace this, knowing that God loves you and wants what is best for you. And now at this final stage, you might ask yourself, how can I respond to this now? And then you can formally close this time of prayer, either by praying some words directly to God or with some words such as the Lord's Prayer. Lexo Divina, as I said, is something that can also be done in a group. And here is a brief overview of the form that might be used in a group. First of all is to listen for Christ the Word, to read the passage, then have some silence, and then share what word or phrase comes up with the group. Then it is to look at how Christ the Word speaks to me, to read the passage again, have some silence, but then share with the group how does this reading affect you today? And then the final stage might be to ask what Christ the Word is inviting you to do, to read the passage again, have some silence, and then share what Christ is inviting you to do in this particular moment, listening to the words of the others, and then to pray together as a group. And so now I'll close this podcast with some words of prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So from everyone here at St John the Divine, we wish you an enriching and peaceful and holy Lent. God bless you all.